And what is going on, everybody out there, all of you buttes and beauties? It is episode number 162 of Hat Trick Hockey, which is always brought to you by our good friends over at GL Heritage, the official beer of Hat Trick Hockey. And here, as always, with my buddy Tristan. Mm -hmm. Tristan, what's up, brother? Nothing much. Um, What are we? Thursday? good week so far working and uh school's all done so summertime is here yeah looks like the weather's going to be with it yeah. tomorrow or, well next week uh warm weather coming looking forward to getting a tan hitting the gym uh yeah not much else how about you just work <laughs> work the show um just like shit like that watching hockey as always Oh, yeah, of course. It's, yeah, watching the playoffs. I left that out. That's yeah. a big hole. We're getting into golf season now, of course, right? Yeah. So yeah. Um, hopefully get into the swing of doing that soon. I know we got a couple tournaments and stuff coming up, so got to get out there swinging the old sticks and see what what happens. But yep. other than that, eventful week, let's say, in the hockey world. Yeah, pretty good. But yeah, but before we get into that, so you and I were on the call for the play for a cure. Yeah, yeah, that um, yeah, let's talk about that a little bit. That was uh so we went so it was what the th- so the Thursday we went to the draft dinner. Even uh, though Yeah. Yes. Yeah, last Thursday. Mm-hmm. And it go. was uh it was crazy, man. Like there was just so many hockey players there and yeah. It was really good. The food was really good. It was good. Like, really but it was good. going in our mouth, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We both had a couple of accidents there. I spilled, the <laughs> spilled your yeah. food. We were, we were a dynamic duo. As a funny. So, what happened was I was talking a bunch of shit because you laid out your napkin on your lap and stuff like that. And then I was talking <laughs> a bunch of shit to you. And then, like, two minutes later, I proceeded to slap something on myself on my i pants. knew it that's why i told you i said <laughs> i said watch this is why they put the napkins here yeah. just in case you don't so you don't look that bad and it's like imagine doing that yeah i'm an absolute and you're like player. grabbing you're like oh it was like what was it it's a carrot like a four inch long little baby carrot <laughs> drops it but yeah. uh no it's all good fun uh really good opportunity thanks to uh Everyone, like our viewers who have gotten us here, um, yeah, the 73s yeah. who also ultimately got us here through offering us the position with PJHL TV and, of course, uh, Coach Go Your TV, Windsor yeah. and Brett Hedges and everybody over there. So that's a yeah. um, big opportunity for us. And I mean, I say a big, op- big opportunity on a smaller scale, but still lots of good came from it, I think. Anyway, it was a good yeah. experience. Different um, in that. Dude, I didn't really know much leading into it at all. I've but. never done anything like that in my entire life. No, it was very different because it's uh, like an outside production, right? So you're coming in as like a third party now, like as opposed to with the 73s were directly associated. Yeah. And then this was kind of like, so now you're going through the spits. I got put through the ringer at the casino. That was funny too, but um, no, it was, it was fun. I had a good, good time. What are you laughing about? No, we'll uh, talk off here. <laughs> okay, yeah. But, um, Gary, Gary Roberts, like seeing guys like that. That guy's a monster, dude. Yeah, and he can shoot the puck. And Mike Knubel and Michael Layton as yeah. a skater. He's a sniper, um, too. Yeah, he scored a nice couple. Nice one, too. Yeah, yeah. and uh, the last guy I'm trying to think, uh, Graves, Adam Graves. So, funny story. So, when I'm there, I'm at the bar, and I'm – freaking grabbing a drink Mm -hmm. and um this was like later on in the night too when it was towards the end but so i'm grabbing a drink or whatever and yep i turn around and i kind of like bump into somebody and we both like spun around at the same time and we spun around at the same time it was prost freaking brandon so me and prost were like I was like, oh, sorry, man. He's like, oh, it's okay. Then I was just kind of like, hey, I'm like, this is nice, eh? And then we just kind of, for about 30, like, seconds or so, shot the shit. Yeah. I wanted to so bad just be like, hey, 
you should come on our show. Like I wanted to so bad, but I'm like, and everybody will say, Oh, you should have, but I'm like, we're there with the like settings, not right. You know what yeah. I mean? When it comes to like, yeah, I know. Like to get someone you know on the I show, never... I'd rather like send them, send them something on freaking Instagram or one of their, yeah, like, I know. It's, it's never to kind of like, you don't want to be that person who's always, but we did have to take a photo right. with Zach Bell though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, of course. But also like, I get what you're saying to that point. Um, you want to show them some respect, but yeah. also like you don't want to put them on the spot. Right. Mm. And that could kind of like force them to kind of yeah. feel and that way a bit. Yeah. And he's having beers and stuff. Like, I don't want to bug. Yeah, exactly. Guy. He just like, that's his time to kick back and relax. Yeah. Right? And then you're going, Hey, you man, go on the show. I'm in the but, media wearing a fucking yeah. like media pass for like, you know, and it's yeah, like, hey, no. come on, our podcast. No, was, like, no, exactly, I, I didn't want to be that guy. We recognized our position there and uh, had a good night of it. Yeah. Great night. Like, all that, it was cool seeing the stuff they had on auction. And I don't even know when they announced those. I'm assuming whoever won would go through email, but yeah, yeah getting to meet Zach Bell. Um, you, it was funny how that all transpired. You were like, I was like, hey, I'd like to get a photo with him. Obviously, I, right? he was, I didn't even know Pavel Barber was there either. Yeah. It would have been nice to grab him for a pick, but is what it is. Um, but yeah, we're we're sitting there, and I saw him, and I'm like, oh yeah, bingo. Well, he went to the bathroom, and Ant. Uh, I was in there fucking just dropping it. Sees him and goes, brutal. <laughs> Food ran. Ant goes, me. <laughs> hey. Ant <laughs> goes, hey. Guess who's uh, in the bathroom? And I'm like, who? He's like Zach Bell. I'm like, perfect. So we kind of kind of trapped him a little bit went out waited for him to come out and it's funny we're all we're both standing there with big grins on our face and he's kind of looking back and forth like okay do i know these guys and we just introduced ourselves and super down to earth yeah guy, he was cool friendly really nice kid mm -hmm. um he's got some greasy mitts on him too holy smokes that kid can <laughs> He's got quite the puck handling, I'll tell you that. I, I've never seen someone like it. The one trick he did at the play for a cure, bounced it off the ice, caught it out of the air on the toe of his blade, and, like, put it over the goalie's head. Yeah. It was like, okay. <laughs> and I, I love how uh, Zach Bell, like, when the little kid goalie came out, uh, he, like, shot it into him, you know, to yeah. kind of let him make the save. Barber comes out and just rips one on this kid who's oh, about yeah. Eight years old, and I'm like, well, yeah, that's real nice. Hey, that's how you do <laughs> Undresses it. Undresses the poor young goalie. That's but right. uh, it's all part of the game. Crispy rice, man. Yeah. That's how you do it. But uh, so where should we? Oh, by the way, too, before we get going, too, if you're on the good old fucking TikTok, if you're on Tiki Talk, okay, like the Essex 73's fan page. Yeah. Okay. So they're kind of linking up with us and they're doing like um clips. So anything clips, whether it be on ice, off ice, anything 73s will be on that page. So make sure that you like that page. So yeah, definitely. That's like 73s fan page. Like them on all social media enough. platforms. They're doing some work with us too as well they're doing like show like clips of us that's how you guys have been seeing the clips up and stuff so we formed a little bit of a team here that we're an doing alliance some, yes and we're doing some really good stuff so you guys are going to see a whole bunch of stuff come out so big thanks to them and welcome to the team and no mm -hmm. we're not naming them so no sorry but, guys uh, <laughs> also uh learn to appreciate tiktok if you're yeah. canadian yeah. Uh, it's getting banned in the U.S., eh? Really? Yeah, uh, Joe Biden just signed off the petition, and unless in, like, the next two months the company sold to, like, an American distributor because it's Chinese, wow, they're going to ban it in the U.S. because they think it's, like, a major liability for national security for, like, all these U.S. citizens to just give away their data to the Chinese government, which, understandably so, but also, like, that's controlling someone's freedom to access like entertainment basically yeah. like it's right in their what do they they got the bill of rights right there um but that's your own like platform to, man like their amendment rights that's what it is yeah. um but whatever it's it's crazy yeah like that's a major major platform that's a lot of money 
that they would be losing if wow. the U.S. backed out on that. But that's just a bit. Mm-hmm. That's extra outside of hockey. So we'll yeah. So let's get let, let's get back uh, into the, the hockey. passing of yeah. Bob Cole, oh. legendary commentator. That's like my childhood, man. There's there's one goal that I'll always watch both calls on because both calls on the goal was just stellar. Uh, Can I 19... guess one of them? Yeah, Eiserman slap shot against St. Louis. Yes. <laughs> Yes, it's it's Bob Coles. There's Bob Coles, and then there was the Detroit announcer at the time. I forget his name, uh, but he did his call, and hey, both sure. of them. Yeah, that's who it was. <laughs> oh, buzzing right now, on fire. Yeah, but it was just he tees it up, and uh, I think Casey was the goalie, John Casey, and he's he stands straight up, it goes bar down, and just Irishman galloping. Night that was ninety six round two, game seven, I think. Maybe game six. It was a one nothing game in like triple overtime, mm. pandemonium. Anyhow, what yeah, was the other just, one? That's too bad. Oh no, I'm saying like oh. both of those calls, but oh, okay. also um. Oh. Ninety nine. Uh, this might have been one. This is like later on in his career, but ninety nine. Uh, Brett Hall scores on. Uh, Dominic Kashuk. Oh, okay. Yeah. Win the win the cup for the Stars. That was pretty 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 iconic. I mean, just because I like those teams, we're going to talk about one of those teams soon. Yeah. Who needs to get their head out of the sand? Um, you would like a star quite literally one. because the sand of the desert. Get it? See what I did there? But <laughs> anyway, I see what you did there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I mean, you want to you want to jump into the playoffs? Yeah. Where do you want to go? Pick a series, dog. Let's start. East Atlantic. So Florida's up two nothing on the Lightning, and I called this. I, I never talked about my bracket either, by the way. Yeah, but, neither did I. But um, basically, uh, I'll just say yeah. I as we go along, I'll say the team I had in the series. So I had Florida in five, which looks good right now. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Tampa's a farce. Detroit beat them in the regular season series. I watched them a lot this season. They're falling off. They're carried by Kucherov, and if you shut down Kucherov and Point and Stamkos, you're pretty much set. Yeah. They're running other weapons. Their decor isn't what it used to be. It's actually a pretty much a shell of what it used to be. Mm-hmm. The, all they've got is Hedman and uh, Chernak and Sergachev, who's hurt. Yeah. He's not back anytime soon. He like broke his leg or whatever. I think he's done for the year. Yeah, he's done for a while. Because I see his videos online where he's like warming up, like just getting back on the ice. But um, Tampa's got to figure it out. Good news is they're going back to home ice. So mm-hmm. little teeny bit of momentum swing there. But losing in overtime, it's a stinger. Speaking of which, in that game, as Jay Andre would say, Officer Bobrovsky. Oh. <laughs> what about the stone cold robbery from Bobrovsky? Holy smokes. Yeah. That is the greatest save I've ever watched like live. Mm-hmm. I can't believe that. Both of those goalies in game one put on a show too. Oh game one. No, and... Or was it or was it game two? Game game two. Both it was goalies. game two. I know it was Vassy was playing yeah. outstanding. It hockey. was just save after right. save. However, I had I had Florida in six games. I hey, both of our predictions look good. Yeah, but you honestly, you hit everything right on the freaking head. Anything that I was going to say, if you ha- if you shut down the big dogs, yeah, obviously. And Florida's then, so deep. Like, they yeah. got Tarasenko at the deadline. I forgot about that. I was watching the game, and he scored, and I'm like, yeah. oh, that's right. They casually have a 30-goal score on their third line. Like, Yeah. And Verhege. Verhege, he's coming up on, like, the all-time record for overtime goals, eh? Yeah, he's ridiculous. And it missed Mr. Overtime, that guy. But yeah, so I had Florida in six. So, all right, fair enough. And now the one that many of our, our listeners, I'm sure, are following is Boston, Toronto. Oh, the iconic matchup that we always get in the first round. I had Boston in seven. I like that pick. Mm-hmm. I think Brad Marchand's under the skin of the Maple Leafs, fans and players alike, yeah. as well as coaching staff. But, um, that series is 2-1 as we stand right now, and Boston just had a big win on the road. Yes. 4-2 with the empty netter. Um, I watched that game, and 
I don't know. Well, you give a bit of your analysis. I don't want to just talk. Well, I just, you know, (laughs) I said Bruins in five. I do. Just, I know. But just because one, yes, I wanted to ruffle the like feathers of Leaf fans, of course, naturally, naturally. Um, But it's just the Leafs have way better freaking scoring. Where is Willie? Nobody knows where Willie is. Uh, I I just read that he's got migraine issues. Oh, it's a bad headache. Well, I won't make fun of it. I migraines head stuff okay, but stuff other than that, so whatever. But still, though, he's out, so he can't play. But like, this is when like who who's gonna step up? Who's gonna step up? Matthew scored a huge goal in game two on on the road with yeah, that was shit. It. What a pass by Max was, Domi! But the goal was oh man, the goal was beautiful. Beautiful. I gotta goal. say, I've been impressed by from like their secondary scoring. Nick Robertson had a really nice yes. goal. The brother of Jason and Bert also had one too, didn't he? Yeah, Bert did uh, the redirect off of his yeah. foot last night. But I'd say the most impressive player for me personally from that series, I like Matthew Nice. Mm-hmm. That guy can play up and down the lineup. He's a the quintessential power forward. I love him. Also, their goalie sucks. I'm sorry, Ilya Samsonov is not it. Start and they don't Justin have defense. Wall. I'm sorry, Start either. Justin like, Wall. They don't have good defense either. He's not even. He let in the first shot of the series. Oh. That was so funny. I was watching that game as they turned on the TV. John Beecher. And I'm like, ah, yeah. The world is healing itself. Boston's beating the Leafs. But um, I think the series will probably run longer. Like I said, it's a bold yeah. statement in five. Yeah, but- yeah. No, Leafs. I don't think the Leafs are going to go out without a fight. But mm-hmm. also, the comments from uh, what's his name are just comedic. Sheldon Keefe. Like, what a whiner. What a whiner. Why? What did he say? Well, I, I I don't even remember the direct quote, but it had to do with the fact of, oh, Martians, uh, he's going to get calls because he antagonizes us and da-da-da-da-da, and, like, he's going to be able to draw penalties, and that's just so how... Don't retaliate. Them. And I'm like, bro, like, yeah, it's called calm down and be better. You see Martian shot on yeah. the game winner? Yeah. Oh, my Lord. I was watching it with my dad, and he's freaking out because he's a Montreal fan, so he... He's impartial, but we we still hate the Leafs more than we do the Bruins. So we're watching that, and I'm like, what a shot. And that wasn't Samsonov's fault. It was a rolling puck, but he sniped it. Like, Mm -hmm. this much room right over the goalie's shoulder. But talk about – I think think the Leafs are going to be – I'll tell you now. Yeah. If they They have to win the next game. If they lose the next game and have to go back to Boston down three one, it's your fucking end one. Like it's not gonna it's not gonna end well, Lee fan. And I'm not saying that to troll you, because sometimes I do, yes. Yeah. But you it's a it's must win. Jamie uh Jamie McDermott, he'll be happy about how this next series is going. Big Rangers fan, that guy. But uh Rangers up two nothing on the caps. I'm pretty Not certain. Uh, just pause. Okay. Can you pause? So, yeah, Jamie McDermott, he'll be happy with the 2 nothing series lead for the Rangers. That's, um, I had that going to sweep. <laughs> I, I had a sweep. I think I had five games. I think I yeah. gave him one. But, yeah, like, I don't think the Caps are getting one. I think no. they're getting whacked. You want to know what was awesome? The Rangers look so good. Everybody's talking about Rembe and this and that, and he's he's there in a fight, and he's this and that, and then he scores in what like the first game. It took a matter of about three minutes, and he had already had a goal. So I'm telling you, that guy, if he can just keep the puck out of his net, make the plays that he needs to make, be like physical, stay out of the box, man, he could be a real force for the Rangers. So, But they just have to play him smart. Play him on the power play in front of the net, second unit or something. He can yeah, but they've got give him the puck. Like, he's got a good shot. But their power their power play is already so good, both units. like I know, but if you put him. a guy that's 6'7", it'd be like Martino. Isn't he like all? Martino I thought he was almost 6'9". But still, it'd be like us throwing like – Martino out front of the net. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's it's the same thing, right? Oh, well, I'd rather Marty than Matt Rampe well, in front of the 
that personally. Marty's probably got better hands for yeah. sure, but but, but I'm um, just saying though, but you never know. Like just try try stuff out. It's a playoff. Yeah, why not? But also the well, they can now. They're up two nothing. Uh, but they are going to Capital One. But they do have two power play units. <laughs> uh, they're oh, I watch them. They are so good. And you know it's deadly. And I love watching every time he steps on the ice. He was on my fantasy team this year. Just a terrific player. Mika Zabinajad. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Been in the Sens ever since traded him years ago. What a dumb team. Poverty franchise. Mm-hmm. Drew, shout out to you. Oh, Drew. But, uh, I love that, yeah, I love that one. You know but, you're uh, gonna get chirped in the chat. Mika, oh yeah, I will. Mika Zabinajad. He scored an absolute dart the other night. Yeah, I, I think I've seen that one. He walked like right in. He was on the power play. He was going to go off for a change, and he circled back, came over the blue line. Panarin found him, of course. Panarin finds everybody. Shocker. Like, he's literally Kane 2.0. He passes it across. a minute, Jan of Oxen shelves it. No big deal. Uh, Caps almost came back in that game, but it ended up being 4-3. to three. Ovi's been asleep. Yeah. Even if he doesn't figure it out, who's scoring all your goals? Dylan Strom? Yeah. Get no. you. Get your brooms out. Yeah. It they they gotta figure it out at least one of these games on the road if they want to have hope in this series, but that's what you're gonna get from a team with minus thirty seven goal differential, and I'll still harp on it that the wings like why is it why is it regulation wins? Yeah. Why is it not just wins? We had more wins than them. We tied for points. We had more wins. Nope, it's regulation wins. Oh, sorry. So the overtime system just doesn't matter at all then? Ping Jong Batman. Um, and then the last <laughs> series, I had the Canes winning the series in five. It's currently two nothing for oh. Carolina. Did you but, see that one game where they scored about? Yeah, I was goals. watching it. <laughs> three goals oh in like gosh. fourteen seconds. I they scored know. two goals in nine seconds to take the lead. They were down three two with two minutes left. Yeah, and it went bam yeah. bam. Like, yeah, that that was insane, man. I've never and then I think they scored again. I think they got an empty net or two, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Yeah, I know it was three was goals like, real real like real quick. Yep, yeah, they pulled the tendy and uh, uh. so what are you going in, in that series, Carolina? I, I said Carolina in five. Yeah. So 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 far everything in the east looks good for me. Now the west, this is where things get difficult. Yep. Central division, first place in the central. Dallas finds themselves down 2 nothing to Vegas. Dropped both games at home. So they're going back to Vegas down two? They need to wake up. What, what happened? They're, they won nine out of their last ten games, like, coming into the playoffs. What a farce. Like, you got to – like, Jake Ottinger played terrible the first game. Stars played good. They lost. Opposite happened. Jake Odger played good last night. Oh, let's score one goal. We only have the best forward core in the league. Also, Vegas, you're a bunch of bums with your Mark Stone crap. <laughs> one of these days, his back's actually going to get messed up for real. Like, and it's not going to be good. And no one's going to, it's the, the boy who cried wolf. That's the problem. You know the old adage, like, obviously I don't wish that upon him. I know he has back issues, but I'm saying, like, to use that, as you're, oh, he's got to get an adjuster to rest. Is there something that they could do so teams can't do Supposedly that? Supposedly, the leaks, the leak doesn't, you have to be like verified by a, a doctor. Also, when you're Vegas, you could just tell the doctor, hey, here's two million bucks. You want to help us win the cup? <laughs> Anyhow. I like how I'm like just toasting an NHL franchise right now. <laughs> they could squish me like a bug. But, uh, it's outside of my realm of I, I, judgment. Listen, the whole world but knew it's messed it. Up. The whole world knew it. Yeah, that Tampa did the same thing with Kucherov about. for three years in a row. So it's like, whatever. Dallas, they got to figure it out. Enough with the excuses. You got to step on the ice and put out more than one goal and mm-hmm. let in less than four. Like, well, they let in only three last so night with an empty net, but did, still. It's... What did you have in this series? I had Dallas in six. So it's technically still possible, yeah. but they would have to, like, reverse sweep. They'd have to win the next four, which is possible. Dallas has it in them. 
whether they do it or not is another question. Because if they're down three nothing after game one in Vegas, it's no good. I had Vegas in seven. See, see, Ant, this is why we have problems. <laughs> just, uh, I don't know. Just, I thought they would. It was going to be more of a battle than this. Like I thought it was going. They would be just exchanging games. Like I thought that's how it was going to go. If Dallas, if Dallas flicks that switch, and they get a spark, it's over for Vegas very quickly. I'm still confident with that. I watched Dallas all year long. They're not like a. Uh, what's the term? Um. I guess a pretender kind of. Oh, okay. Maybe there's another term I'm looking for, but it's evading me. Uh, but they're they're I don't think they're like a, a fake team. I think this is a team that could actually win the Stanley Cup, and they beat good teams in the regular season. Like they didn't just prey on the bad teams and then oh oh shaky with the good competition. No. And they beat Vegas, I think, every game in the regular season. So it's like, whatever. Jamie Next. Ben and Mark Stone need to just right at center ice. Bust out the Weldon glasses. Have it, have it out, eh? Yeah. I think this next series um, was one of the series I had going seven. Maybe six. I'm pretty sure I had in seven. But Winnipeg and Colorado. So the Division One versus two. Um, series is 1-1, one, one, which is exactly what I expected. Mm-hmm. I said Winnipeg and seven. I... You'll notice in these playoffs, I really, really heavily favored goaltending. Mm-hmm. Goaltending is a major factor, and especially in low-scoring series or even high-scoring series like this series has been. Goaltending is a major factor, and when you look at the matchup of Alex Georgiev versus Connor Hellebuck, there's no comparison. Mm-hmm. Hellebuck takes that easy, and Colorado's going to score their goals. That's why I have it going 7 Colorado has scored their goals. They got Ranton and McKinnon. Landeskog could return by the, the finals, they're saying, if they went that far. Yeah. Um, Joe McCarr and uh, Devin Taves, like, they're set. The problem is Winnipeg's depth, as well as I like Winnipeg's coaching a little bit more. Um, it's uh, bonus, Rick Bonus, um, former Dallas coach. He took them to the cup final with a team that probably shouldn't have gone there. Uh, and they won two games against Tampa that year. So I really like the makeup of them. They got Kyle Connor, Mark Shifley, Nikolai yeah. Ehlers, Pierre-Luc Dubois. Er, is he, no, Pierre-Luc Dubois is on LA now, right? Yeah, you got traded. Yeah. For, Imagine they uh, still had big, like, big buff. Velarde is who they have now, Velarde. Okay. Imagine they still had big buff. Dustin. I don't even, he's even bigger buff now. I saw a photo of him the other day. He's <laughs> probably like 320 pounds. He's huge. And six five and just a whale, but um yeah, if they still had him, I mean they got Morrissey, mm-hmm. Pionk on D. Um, so you had you had Winnipeg, you said right? I had Winnipeg in seven. I had Colorado in seven, just because. I well, can't, there you go. It's either I, way, right? I can't go against Nathan McKinnon. He's just he's just like a dog out there, like drool hang out of his like he's just when he gets going when it but he's when a he horse gets, for sure. yeah when he gets going like that's it and he just looks like he's on a mission so and and then the the final series as we moved to the pacific um the final series that i had going seven uh was vancouver and nashville that series is currently tied one one where the hell's patterson i said nashville in seven mm-hmm I see. I you know why. I'm just thinking, why is that? It kind of paid off for me. I like UC Soros a lot mm-hmm. as a goalie. I think he's very clutch. I think he's one of the most clutch goalies in the league for that having that big save like Bobrovsky did for the uh, Panthers. Funny, they're both cats. But um, Demko's done. Yeah, I know he's hurt. Like so he's that's... he's done, done yeah. for this round. Potentially the next round of Vancouver moves on. That's gonna which... create. A big goalie mismatch. Yeah. Casey to Smith. I, I The other day they were cheering for him in the arena. They're like, KC, KC. Proceeds to get scored on in the first shot. Like the Nashville just took the most recent game, and now they're going back to Bridgestone. That place is going to be rocking. Smashville, and man. I they had, I originally had, I originally had Vancouver too. 
What do you mean originally? Well, that's who you have on your bracket. That, that's who I'm going with now. Anyways, I have to. I picked him, but this was before, well, what's the... before the freaking goalie injury and stuff. But I had him in six games. Okay. I and then the last series, now I mean, I'm that's probably going to take one straight <laughs> up. Uh, you know, with that. So, uh, in the last series, Edmonton and LA, I had Edmonton in five. Um, although LA snuck one out split the um first two games but it's 1-1 what did you have for that series i had edmonton in six just because okay. there's always going to be little fumbles and la is la so yeah they're decent they're well coached they got yeah, that's what i mean do they have a different coach now or is it still todd mcclellan the guy with the like gray hair what do i uh, feel like they i think it's a different guy I don't know. I don't really watch. Well, I watch them. I don't pay too much attention to. Okay. Uh, anyway, but just just like okay, skipping over the second in the conference finals and all that. Who did you have in your cup final? In my cup final. Yeah. I had. I'm gonna go. Oh man, it's so hard. I'm gonna go. Colorado coming out of the West. Oh, okay. And sorry, man. And then I'm gonna go coming out what of you the. Mean? You don't have to say sorry. I feel sorry for you. You picked the team that has Georgiev and Net. Mm-hmm. Coming out of the coming out of the East. Mm-hmm. I like Florida. It's a good pick. I had them in my conference final. I had Dallas, Carolina. Dallas could look like a really idiotic pick. I have them winning the cup, um, but. The Canes, I think they finally do it and get past that conference final. Um, Yeah, that cup final could go either way for me. But I think the Canes are going to face Florida in the conference final. I think Dallas is going to be facing Winnipeg. Mm -hmm. Hellebuck, man. Hellebuck. I think Hellebuck's going to start stealing games. And I almost picked um, Edmonton, too, out of the West. I almost picked that, too. but. I thought See, about it. Once again, that's a goaltending thing. I, like they got but, some, what are they rolling with Skinner as their starter? I'm going on as maybe you're a big gets, scoring guy. Clearly, yes, because, I, yeah, fuck. hell yeah, you can't win if you don't score. You have to score goals too, man. True, but look at the teams that have won recently. That I, I would argue the only one who has won with a subpar goalie, ironically, was the Avalanche. And they had Darcy Kemper at the time. Which series had to like seven six game one? That was uh, funny enough. The team with the the first round matchup that I would have said had the two best goaltenders, uh, Winnipeg and Nashville. Oh, no, okay. what am I? Winnipeg and Nashville. Winnipeg, Colorado. Wow. So so I I, I confused that. My bad. So it's uh, Georgiev let in seven. On like twenty four shots, and uh, but Hellebuck did let in six, which mm-hmm. is very uncharacteristic for him. So I'm wondering if he isn't fighting an injury, maybe. Well, wouldn't you want to get that taken care of now? Then. What do you mean? Well, you're gonna to want to get that taken care of while it's early in the playoffs. If if he's hurt. Yeah, he wants to get it taken care of anytime. Mm-hmm. No, but. Uh, I'm not understanding your statement. What do you mean? And what I mean is if it's during like regular season or something, they might just say, okay, here, we're just going to let you sit for a week while that nagging injury. Oh, okay. Play. Yeah. Well, he's... Now it's the, it's the playoffs. You can't really sit him. He has to no. play. Yeah. So you're going to want to get to that as kinda, soon as possible. <laughs> they're probably going to let him kind of. Just see what happens. Through it. I mean, yeah. So I heard a couple other news items that, uh, Larkin's going to the Team USA mm-hmm. for that championship. Um, what what is it? What's it called? The World Cup of the, Hockey? It's the Men's World Championships. It's called Double IHF. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I thought so because they just had the women's one, and I was like, because I know they want to do the four nations thing, and then it's a whole whatever. I think they're doing that instead of the All Star Week or whatever next yeah. year. Which I, I applaud them for. Big time. Yeah, I don't hate it. No, I we we actually saw at that play for a cure uh, the draft dinner, um, 
a, a Larkin jersey from when he was on that Team North America, the Young Guns team with like McKinnon and Matthews and all those guys. That was a wagon. Yeah. Fun fact, who is their top pairing defenseman? Who? They had Riley. I know that. But on he that played team, the right side as a lefty. On that team North hit. America? He played on the wings this year. Yeah. Can I just take an oddball stab at it? Yeah, sure. Wallman. No. Shane Gosh despair. Is it, is it Wallman? I think Wallman. Wallman. I was no, say, Shane Gosh is fair. Is Wallman Canadian? Well, it doesn't matter. Team North America was both countries. Yeah, yeah I know. But I'm just wondering if he is. Uh, Wallman is a Jewish name. Uh, I don't know what. Uh, yeah, he's Canadian, no? Or is he American? That's what I'm looking up right now. Canada. Yeah, Toronto. Okay. Boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Boo this man. I actually but, um, like also, I, this was a week ago, but two guys got their – sorry, one got his first NHL point, the other got his first NHL goal. Nikita Chibrikov for the Winnipeg Jets scored his first NHL goal. Guess who assisted on it? Hmm. One of my prospects that I was harping on. You might have remembered – where was it before my time with the podcast? I really wanted the Wings to draft this guy bad. His name was Brad Lambert. Um, played JYP over in Finland uh, and with the Pelicans in Finland. Just mm-hmm. a terrific player. People were like, oh, he's got all this skill, but can he put it together in North America? Did it? He fell all the way to 30. Was projected to potentially even go higher than Shane Wright. And, uh, is that the right draft? Yeah, Shane Wright and all those guys. <laughs> fell to pick 30 to the Jets. W- wings passed on him, which I will forever be mad at. We took, uh, well, we went all the way at nine that year and picked Casper, which a safe pick but i would have gone with the skill brad mm-hmm. lambert first game first point i think they should play him in these playoffs he is such a dynamic player and if you get a chance watch some brad lambert highlights Track is there any other, yeah yeah is there any other points you want to talk about i don't i'm pretty well this was pretty well just the show for the playoffs because we hadn't really got a chance That's to talk true. playoffs I, or... I i also want to say um a flyers made a signing Philadelphia. They signed a goaltender that they just finally got. Is that after, the guy from... like, nine years after his draft, Ivan Fedotov from Russia finally came over after he was like banished to the Arctic Circle last year by the Russians. Mm-hmm. Finally comes over and they re-signed him two years at three point two five million. He's a six foot eight and a half goalie. Yeah, he's huge. Yeah, dude, his like lower back is at the crossbar. Mute. Like the guy covers the entire net. He's and he's only I well yeah, he'd be twenty seven now, so we'll see. Oh, I think boy. he's gonna be really good. Oh yeah. Guy that size too. Sheesh. Just an absolute whale. What else you got? Anything else? Or are you uh... uh they also made another signing. They just signed a guy today. I saw it. Alex Vlas or oh, sorry, Chicago signed Alex Vlasic. It's like a shutdown second pair defenseman. Mm-hmm. Six years, four point six million. Yeah, I did actually see that one right before. Actually, we a came big on contract, and, yeah. and I was like, it's kind of random to hand that out, but I think it's actually going to be a steal. Mm-hmm. Defenseman with the cap going up, D men are going to get more. Chicago's like going to have a, lots of cap room too. A good shutdown defenseman, man. You get him long term. He's he's really young. I think he's twenty two. Lots of time, and he's just going to be – he's their – um. Uh, oh, who was the defenseman they had years ago? He played with Keith. Seabrook? Yes, he is their new Brent Seabrook. Attaboy. Attaboy, Ant. On fire today. Buzz what about him. Brian Bickle? <laughs> Man, he used to be so much fun to watch. Mm. With – oh, who is the other guy they had? Did they ever have Drake Kajula? Or no, he was on <laughs> Edmonton. Kajula. I don't know. Uh, what am I thinking of? Oh, Shaw. Andrew Shaw. That's what I was thinking of. Andrew Shaw. Yeah, they had, yeah the Hawks. The grinder. Shawzi, when he headbutted the butt in. I think the he in. Didn't he win like two cups there? Yeah. he he. Uh, I think he left and then came back and then left again. He went to Montreal for a while, I know. Um, 
But yeah, fun fact, you know the team who we, uh, they're going to catch another stray here. The team who we headbutted that goal in against, I am pretty sure it was Ottawa. Yeah, it was. Could be wrong. Yeah, but it was in Ottawa. There, there you go, uh, Drew. Another one. Just headbutt. Common, common sense, L. He's gonna, he's gonna fucking torture you've, you've you. You've heard the about China. the NHL in Utah. Get ready to hear about the Ottawa oh, yeah. Senators in Quebec City. Speaking of that, oh yeah, you see all the patents that were bought. Actually, there's a good point. Talk a bit about that. I'm yeah. gonna bring up all those. So they had they brought the whole team there. They met fans. They have over like sixteen thousand nice. seats already sold. Like they're already like it's. I'll find it here. Hockey is in Utah. So how it's going to work out too is Arizona still has five years to like build a rink and get everything going. And if they do, it sounds like the Arizona will come back under a expansion draft. Yeah. That's kind of weird. Like they, they just get rid of them completely. Oh, sharks also fired Dave Quinn. Yeah. I seen that too, which I don't even know why would you would fire him. Not like he had a lot to work with. No, exactly. He's playing with an AHL club. What do you want? Do you want him to win the cup? Like, oh, I'm trying to find. I there was a list here of all the patents that were bought. Oh, is it really that long ago? <laughs> Keep chatting there, Ant. No, I seen one of them. I actually, I fuck, I forget. One of them had to do with like Yeti and stuff, didn't it? Yes, there was the Utah Yeti, um, but nice the one blizzard. that I actually really liked, that, there was like Utah Blizzard, Utah Venom, U, just Utah Hockey Club, mm. Utah... Like a Washington football team? Yeah, it's I, I don't like that. NHL, please don't do that. No, but the name that I saw that I love the most, and I think it's the most recent patent that was just bought, it'd be so unique, and I love it, because you could go with like a sick logo, and I'd want to design it myself. The Utah Mammoth. Yeah. Yeah. That That's actually sweet. pretty sweet. Think about it. Just a, a woolly mammoth, and you could go with, like, ice kind of colors, you know, similar to that. Although that's not really a Utah thing, but it must be at least in some part because they were going to go with Blizzard. I don't know what they would do for the Utah Venom. I, I don't get that one kind of. Like a, a rattler? Yeah, maybe a rattler, I guess, but that just doesn't make sense. The Yetis makes the most phonetic and sense it sounds that, good too though. yeah and they are going with utah as yeah. opposed to um salt lake yeah salt lake uh fighting saints or fighting mormons but that was so funny <laughs> I, I still can't get over that glad i gave everybody oh, by the way one. uh we were talking about this last time it can it could have been the salt lake city saints or the salt lake saints mm -hmm. because the mormon church is the church of latter-day saints so there you go. Tristan doing his homework. Yeah, I I was so happy when I saw that save by Bobrovsky. I was just thinking of Jay Andre every time I was growing up. You remember when Bobrovsky was on Philadelphia? Bobrovsky. Yeah, he always goes, Bobrovsky, you're off the case. Yeah. And he had like a detective hat and he'd be like, <laughs> I remember the he had like a one that was a reverbed version of him saying it. And he'd go, Oh, what's that guy's name again? Paplinsky? Yeah. And you'd hear in the background. Bobrovsky. Oh yeah, I remember those guys. I used to watch them all the time. Oh man, man. Jay Andre, love that guy. He's one of my favorite, like uh, one of the roundtable, you know, broadcasters. I also really like, um, it's Sportsnet. Uh, Kevin Bieksa. Yeah, I always like Bieksa's opinion. Um, well, pretty funny guy too, good. and he and he played so like, mm -hmm. it's good. He touches all the things. Uh, the one girl on there kind of bugs me sometimes and it has nothing to do with the fact that she's a girl it's the fact that like her opinions are always like she thinks she's right which fair enough but she's always like oh that's nice but here's why you're wrong and that's like how she approaches everybody at the table and i'm like <laughs> her name's cassie campbell you know small blonde i, I think she I played she is, yeah. Okay, yeah but she was she does the calgary broadcast i believe with uh, kelly rudy yeah and all years kelly like wh what like half the time in the studio he's like what are you talking about that's funny. and it's so awesome 
But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I had to touch on. Sorry, everyone, we kind of yeah, jumped on we're just again, we're but... just chatting. All right, yeah. everybody. So we have we're gonna line up some more interviews. Oh, big time! Uh, yeah, well, we're going to the seventy threes banquet tonight, so so we're gonna get all that going. So until next week, mm-hmm. Aunt Tristan, we're signing off. We're out of here. Yeah. See ya. Yeah. Yeah.